Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the starter template in order to create a template for your website, for your business. Now here we can see that I've started with the, one of the starter templates and all I've done at the moment is I've fiddled about with the background colour. But I need to create a template of my own in order to create the website. And generally I think that this post title and this area down here is probably going to be the main area and then I'll probably convert that into one single photo across the bottom and perhaps get rid of the second one or I might have different content in each of them that sits next to each other. But to create the first section I've got the page open and I'm going to actually go to um, code view I think for this because it's easier to see there's lots of hints here you can see that there's of the main blog area and in fact that's the area that I'm going to grab that section and I'm actually going to include the um, blog title the content and that author bit at the bottom so that the section opening and closing tags is still there so I'm going to delete them and then with that still open I'll go to design view and now I'm going to insert the template editable region. Make an editable region. I'm going to call that um, main bod. And now I'm going to save it as a template. And the template test is going to be called test2. Hmm, didn't realize there already was one. Okay, I'm going to make test three. And now I can close that. And now, of course, to make web pages from that template, I can just go new site template from template create. There you go. And save that as a name perhaps index.html. That's all that you need to know. So from that point, you can go back, rearrange your uh, template, look at the different designs for it in the different layouts. You can change the colors, the content. For example, this side area at the moment is used for links. You could use that for links to social media, for example. Uh, that could be an image that's uh, relevant for the whole site. Uh, the search bar, of course, is repositioning itself in the different views. So you might want to keep that there. And you might want to duplicate that entire div if you prefer to have the navigation at the top and then perhaps the title and logo of your website underneath or above.